welcome to Red Ted Art. Today we're going to show you how to make these wonderful coffee filter snowflakes. My kids love making these. Um, obviously they're great in Christmas or in winter, but you know what? They like doing them whenever. What you'll need is, is a coffee filter and then you need to get some lovely patterns. Now there's two ways that we like to do this. One is using a pen and a spray water bottle. I'll show you that today. And whilst I'm doing it, I'll tell you about the other one. The other one is... So you basically just create some simple patterns like this. The other method is you use a pipette and some watercolours and then you just drip drops all over your coffee filter and let it dry. And we like doing the pipette one because you can really watch the colours mix and mingle. But of course you can watch colours mix and mingle if you're using pens too. So you've added some um, very, very rough patterns. And now you squirt it with water which I have to say my children also love doing because it's just fun watching the water squirt out. And you let the colour run. And then once sort of it's run a bit, so you let it get really wet, you hang it up and you let it dry. Um, and obviously you can use different colours um, and just see what different mixes and have lighter blues, darker blues, that kind of thing. So once that's done, you put it to the side and you find you have a wet surface. Oh well. Here we go, you'll have a wet picture now. Put this to the side. Get your uh, scissors ready. You've got some little scissors that the kids can handle really well. And then you fold it in half, like this. And then you fold it in half again, like this. Nice neat edges. Do you want them lining up because then you get a nice pattern going all the way around. And then you fold it up again. Um, and the one I showed earlier, I'll show you again this one. Um, we actually folded it again. But to be honest, um, you know, the two fold, the, the three folds, so one, two, three is, is usually enough. Um, and it means it's a bit easier to cut because you're not cutting through so many layers of paper. And then all you do is, is you start cutting some patterns. So I have a little circle and you could have a pattern going downwards. Like this maybe. You could have um, a little just a normal triangle and on this side I'm going to try and have a little half a heart and see if it comes out and the great thing about you know cutting snowflakes like this is to be honest it doesn't really matter if it turns out exactly the way you imagined it's all but it's sort of all about surprises isn't it we do like to cut away as, as much as you can because then you don't have so many big white spaces in the middle um, so we do go right in square a bit and some little ones again. Like that. She says that and then I do lots of little ones. That's silly, isn't it? Here we go. But look, I can cut on the, into the top as well. That can look nice. I mean, I don't really know what's going to happen with this one. It's going to be a surprise, isn't it? Some people get so good, they can cut all sorts of patterns out of their snowflake. So, let's see what's, what we have here. My kids spent ages doing this last night. And there we go. You have a super simple snowflake made from coffee filters and pens. Anyway, subscribe to Rated Art. Would love to see you here again soon. Have lots of fun and um, happy crafting. Bye bye.